What's up guys? Welcome back to another instructional video with me, Tom Court. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment on any videos if you've got any questions and hit the like button because it all really helps. I do videos each week on my vlog, make sure you check them out. And yeah, welcome back. So today I'm going to go through another little trick tip. Actually, it's not a really a recommended trick. It's sort of how to end your session like a complete idiot. But if you're going to try it or going to do it, you might as well do it well. If the conditions are perfect for it or there's a really nice spot on the beach, it's not too dangerous and there's not too many people around. But if there is a huge crowd, and you do happen to do this in front of them, it is quite cool, you know? So anyway, this is how to end your session like a boss. Firstly, you want to make sure that the conditions are correct for it. I can't stress this enough that the spot or the wind direction and everything, there's no rocks around despite this example video. Come into it, you want to make sure you come into this reasonably powered. Don't try it if you're underpowered. It's a common misconception to think you've got more control if you're underpowered because you always have to move your kite more. So if you're powered, you can come into this with your kite already almost at 12, like 11 o'clock, something like that, 11 o'clock, one o'clock, you're already riding with a bit of speed towards the beach. Kites really does not want to move that much at all. You want to fly it from either 11 or one, depending on which side of the window you're on, just to 12 o'clock as you come into this. Sheet it out, and then as you come in for the takeoff, you simply tiny kite adjustment to 12, sheet in, and then use your controlled pop in order to get the height, you don't want to go high, you just want to do a little pop trick with a little bit of hang from the kite. <clears throat> Make sure the center line is through your fingers so that you're not pulling the kite one way or another. And you want to just use that pop to cut up nice and controlled, you don't want to travel too far or go too high. Lean down and just take that board off and then use the glide from the, the pop to just glide up the beach and land on your two feet. Simple as that, right? But it's a real exercise in control, where your hand is on the bar, and how you manage your expectations as you come in towards the beach. The most important thing is, is as soon as you pop off the water to use your core to bring the legs up to you so that you just get that board into your hands as quickly as possible. I, I use my back hand to take my board off so I keep my front hand on the bar. So once you've steered it to 12 o'clock, your front hand's on the bar, line between the fingers, and you just measure it on the sheeting, sheet in, sheet out, with that one hand so that you can judge your landing. So if you're gonna try it, try it in a safe place. Cut up wind, sheet in with that single hand, try not to move the kite too much. Lean down, take the board off, Get ready for a landing on the beach. Remember you're landing on the sand and not the water, so you're gonna to need to bend your knees, keep that kite at 12 and in control, stomp it and walk away. <laughs> 